Hey everyone, what up? Welcome back to the channel. I thought I'd get out of the house a little bit, just come out and try to find some games. You know, I'm really excited because it's a beautiful day. I just kind of wish I had a friend to hang out with. Don't I know you? Metal Jesus? What? It's Jason Ivey! <laughs> hey, good to see you. How are you? I'm doing well. You know, I'm doing great because I'm game hunting here. This place is awesome. Let's go inside yes. and find some games. Let's All check right. it out. MGR gave out the bat signal, and Jason Heine responded. Yeah, he gave me a, a text and was like, hey man, I'm in town. Let's do some game hunting. I was like, bruh, bruh I'm there. We hooked up and we went down to one Up Games in Mesa, Arizona, right in my neck of the woods. So it was great to see you, MGR. Thanks for reaching out. Glad to reconnect. It's been about five years, actually, since we've seen each other. So it was a great moment. Glad we we did that. This game store, first of all, is amazing. As you can already tell, I felt like I was inside of a Mario pipe. It was so welcoming and colorful and vibrant. Honestly, it made me feel like the old school game store days, you know, like back when like Funko Land and, you know, Electronics Boutique and, you know, EB and all these great, even the mom and pop, the hundreds and hundreds of mom and pop game stores of the era this was just very very nice the owners are incredible guys super warm and friendly welcoming they are excellent nice so yeah they had a bunch of great stuff here and i one thing i love most about this is how they have them all organized and facing out like this it's easier to see it just makes for a better shopping experience and i i know if you have a ton of inventory you can't do that so you know i know the reason why you would have them out like that obviously because if you are a little light it just uh you know it fills up the space a little bit more but i do appreciate that for sure Moving in here, some PS1 stuff. Great, great games here. Some Rainbow Six, some wrestling games over there, some WWF, very cool. I saw that Need for Speed up there a little earlier. Ooh, don't get me triggered, of course, and I'm gonna go right on into the Nintendo Wii, you know it. Absolutely love collecting for a Nintendo Wii. And look at this, all in alphabetical order. Very, very nice. Just the attention to detail, it's, it's nice to see. Where was that Nerf and Strike? That's a good game too. That's a good light gun game. Here we have the Game Boy case here. What do we got here? Some GBA, I see Game Boy, Game Boy Color. There's some Game Gear down there. Yeah, what else? Some PSP on the top there. Notice all the games up front. They're labeled. The prices are right up front. Very cool. There's one of the owners there. He was showing us that box there of all boxed NES he just got in. Let us dig through there. Here are some uncommon and sought after NES. Same for Super Nintendo. You can see a trend here, sort of a theme. Moving on to the N64, some of the more popular. Look at that, a Mario Party trilogy there. Very, very nice. Now this was pretty cool, very uncommon. You don't see this every day. Yeah, that is pretty cool to see. Yeah. I mean, just the box alone I, I, <laughs> is cool. My neighbor had, had one of these when I was growing up and uh... <laughs> Crash 80. With the joystick, wow. too. It's so cool. Yeah, I think one of the oldest computers I ever had my hands on was a Tandy 1000, I believe. It. My grandma had one. Uh, very, very cool stuff. Check this out. Some uncommon and rare stuff. Some loose, high-end stuff down here on the bottom. Very cool. I think MJR picked up that River Raid 2 and a few others in that case. Very nice. Little 3DO controller. That's cool to see. I wouldn't say it's, you know, like highly sought after, but uncommon. And there's a, I didn't even notice it when I was filming, but there's a, a virtual boy back there. Look at that with a controller. I didn't see that till right now. 
I was definitely eyeing that Dreamcast mouse. I already have one. I can't have another, can I? Yes, I should have bought it. Oh, yes. Yeah, 3DO. Love me some 3DO. You guys know that. I almost bought that quarantine because I have the, the disc loose and I need the box, but I just couldn't pull the trigger on it. Uh, yeah, some cool stuff there. This was wonderful, too. Of course, MJR and I both were freaking out because, you know, we're both huge big box PC collectors. And oh, yes, this was nice. The owner said he picked these up from a, an elderly couple who was going to just give them to Goodwill. And he's like, no, let me buy them from you. And that was very nice of him. Look what they have there. Half-Life 2 big box. Oh, daddy wanted. I didn't buy that either. You know, I'm trying to, uh, you know. Stop! Nope. Stop! Nope. Stop! Some very nice NES stuff here, of course. And, and remember, we're talking about how they're displayed. You can see that they're they're facing out. So you can see the spine. That's so nice. Uh, it's it's crazy to me. Not, not every store does this. Maybe not every store has the room and or, you know, the, the rack space or whatnot. But, I mean, this is just clean. Attention to detail. It's definitely appreciated. Some Dreamcast stuff there. There's some Genesis. Very nice. Adam's Family, Jurassic Park. Good stuff there. Pretty cool. Oh, yeah. A little 8201. Some, some weird stuff. Got oh. some really probably good um, loose disc games right there. Okay. There's John's game. Oh, yeah. Sydney yeah. Hunter. Sydney Hunter. Oh, well, yeah, you guys film whatever you need, man. Okay, thank you. Of course. What's up, boss? I do collect those uh, light gun PS2 games, but I already have that in big box. That's very, very cool. I love that. The Time Crisis, one, two, three, all the gun con stuff. Love it. There's some more gun cons down there, but gosh, I already have quite a few. <laughs> when do you limit yourself, folks? When do you do it? Very cool, Batman. I wanted that Jackal, too. That just reminds me of my dad. We used to play Jackal on NES up there. I think I actually come back and start pulling some of these games out and start looking through off camera because there was a lot in there I was really uh, interested in. Some cool controllers down there, of course. Uh, MJR picked that up. Very cool. I think that's from Tecmo. So you can yes. see, he's got some really nice stuff back here. What? 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 Bruh. <laughs> Definitely. Pizza time. Yeah, Turtles arcade game. Like, look at that. Batman, Jackal, what do we got? Section Z, a few others. There's the Dreamcast games. I was wondering where they were. Oh, yes, Daddy. Final Fantasy has got some uh, Nightfire and GameCube there. Very cool. Of course, the whole crate of controllers. He had, that's nice. He's got a purple N64. That's a watermelon N64. Look at this. Look at this. This is a box full of Legend of Zelda manuals. Wow. Who needs a manual for Legend of Zelda? And I love this, this box, of course. Component cables for Wii. Very cool. Bunch of box stuff up above. There's a dog bone right there. Very cool. A little PS1 action. And then so many copies of iconic Super Nintendo game Zombie at My Neighbors. For instance, it's not like a mech warrior game because you're in space. You can kind of go anywhere all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very... In it's Talk about a hidden gem. Most yeah. people do not know. And I definitely game. did pick that up. I was all for it. Metal Jesus Rocks, thank you so much for coming down to Arizona. I appreciate the call. I had a blast with you. Sir, let's do it again. This is not a DVD.